A large part of Don't Starve Together is the ability to make your own camps and bases to help facilitate your survival. Well, in most cases, actually enable it to begin with. Oftentimes this lets you create fancy cool bases with everything you'll ever need for survival right at your doorstep. Some people take this a step further and make their bases huge, spanning biomes and covering enormous stretches of land that completely change how the world around them looks. So what would happen if we just don't do that? Living nomadically is a valid style for this gameplay, but I still want a base. So how about I meet you halfway and restrict myself to seeing how long I can survive with a tiny base, also in a tiny world. The guise for this challenge playthrough will be simple. I have to limit all my base construction to a single 1x1 one one turf square. That's it. No other base structures can be built outside this square. I'm also preventing myself from relocating berry bushes and other plants closer to the base. The only exception to this rule is that I am allowed to replant trees and also build temporary structures like campfires and such. Now to help facilitate this challenge being actually possible, I will be using the Realistic Placement mod. This lets you place stuff slightly closer together. You can call this cheating, but without this mod I'd literally only be able to place like two structures in a grid vanilla without having to resort to placement exploits. So this just makes it more convenient and less fiddle work. And lastly, the world is also going to be set to the smallest scale it can be, and the seasons to short. Why not? If it's a challenge I'd say. With all that out of the way, let's hop on over to live commentary Ash and see how the first couple months turn out. Right, so we're really going to be doing this daft little challenge then, are we? Hello, this is uh, this is live commentary, actually, if you couldn't tell. By the way, uh, so I'm not reading off the script. We're going to be doing this challenge with live commentary this time because I feel like I've really enjoyed the live commentary videos and I want to combine them with the funny challenge videos. So uh, let's see what we can do, shall we? See if, uh, see if a good synergy between those two styles of video would, uh, would tickle our fancies, so to speak. So, as you can see, I'm playing as Walter. Uh, why am I playing as Walter for this video, this challenge? I have no idea. I chose him mainly because I haven't ever had the opportunity to sit down and play Walter. And I thought, why not a good time and A to play as him? Considering I have like a permanent backpack on me at all times and inventory room is going to be a limitation in this challenge because I won't be able to have massive storage chambers anymore and I'm not going to be able to bring resources closer to my base. But I have an idea for a solution for that hazard. You'll just have to wait and see, won't you? Maybe playing Walter would be a bad idea because it's Walter. He's not the strongest character in the game. But I don't think any character in this game is like inherently bad and if you consider Wes because he's meant to be inherently bad but don't worry about that. I'm playing with short seasons on this time around. I'm doing this mainly because the challenge videos can kind of drag their feet a little bit if they're full length seasons, especially a challenge like this where it's going to be easy to survive for a long period of time. So having short seasons will kind of force me to do things more quickly, which is what I like. I've been playing with short seasons in my spare time as well on normal playthroughs. I would strongly recommend you do that, especially using this mod, which I'm going to link in the description, made by Huyu, a member on my Discord. Great person, by the way. Which changes boss spawning rules in vanilla don't starve no boss could fall within 30 ish days which means if you play on short seasons or any seasons other than standard length the deer crops will never spawn by the first winter and you have to wait two years what the mod does though is make it so that rule is just thrown out the window and the bosses can spawn way sooner there is still a little bit of a delay so you're not going to be getting bared your first season and deer crops on day one of winter but it just means you'll be able to fight deer crops during like a short season's winter which is good because i really do enjoy playing in short seasons i strongly recommend doing it as well so we have found the uh, the tumbleweed desert or the dragonfly desert depending on what you like to call it this was my plan i wanted to live in the dragonfly desert why the dragonfly desert in particular tumbleweeds specifically just for tumbleweeds because i'm not going to be able to move grass tufts twigs or anything near my base i'm going to have to rely on scavenging a lot I'm going to have to look for a place to settle down my base. I think I have a good spot in mind though, right there by the entrance of the biome. If you look at that, we've got a full stack of grass already. I don't think I'm going to need to carry too much more because I'm not going to need that many resources. Uh, what the hell is going on here? Why is this? Um, uh, looks like the dragonfly's got a bit of company. Can I, can I just have this please? Thank you. Don't hit me. Oh. I rarely play Walter, but I know his, his old gimmick is don't get hit, you'll lose sanity. I actually just found some marble, which is incredibly useful this early on for Walter. Am I allowed to plant marble trees near my base? Or not in my base? I don't know, I'll, I'll think about it. 
Ooh, he's got a red gem from that tumbleweed. Nice. Right, we made it to day two. There's a lot of gold boulders around here. Typically, when there's gold boulders in the desert, it usually means there's a bunch of hound mounds nearby. But I ain't seeing any. So either they didn't spawn, or gold boulders can just randomly spawn in deserts. And I've never known that until now. So I've got to figure out what, which of these rectangles, which of these squares am I going to restrict myself to for the next like 60 days or however long a year is with short seasons. Oh, well, I'm going to need a pitchfork first to help designate where I'm going to go. I'm also going to need wood because this is don't stuff. Let's chop down some of these birch trees because they'll give us birch nuts, which are Walter's favourite food. Well, the birch nuts themselves aren't Walter's favourite food, but they can be used to make trail mix, which is Walter's favourite food. There's a decent little meadow biome over here as well that should have a nice little supply of supply. <laughs> right next to where we're going to live, even though the desert will keep us topped up on most basic necessities. I wonder where that wormhole will take us as well. Hopefully it takes us somewhere useful. Actually, no, I was hoping it would take us somewhere terrible, to be honest with you. Let's get started then, shall we? How about this, Rex? <laughs> this here, this is going to be our base from now on. Oh my goodness, okay. Um. Oh, no, not that. that we're not living in that. That's, that's not an idea we're doing. I'm going to wait until we have our actual boundary set now before we start actually working on the base. Because I don't want to have to hammer everything and replace it all the time. We are going to need to grab a little bit of food though. It's convenient that we live next to this. And I'm just going to need to get a lot of wood right now though to get the alchemy engine. And a little bit more stone and gold as well. Now there's a stage hand. Do you think there's going to be enough room in the base for an end table? It's all about order. Oh my god. There's two marble things right next to each other here. The world size is set to small, like the smallest it can be. But I still think the world is going to be quite large either way. Due to how worlds work in Don't Solve, where they have to be a certain size. I'm just going to get some more resources, so... Back in a mo. I don't know how I feel about this world having juicy berry bushes though. Because we're not... We're, the, the name of the game is stockpiling food. And I don't think juicy berries are particularly the best one to have stockpiling. Because they spoil really quickly. They're great if you can have them near your base, ready to be picked when you need them. That's the hand we've been dealt, I'm afraid, so that's what we've got to deal with. Right, here we are, H home sweet home. Uh, campfires, I'm, I'm allowing to be built outside the base radius, because they're like a temporary structure. I don't consider them a base piece, because you don't typically have a campfire just cruising around in your base. No, I'm not doing a campfire only challenge, I'm afraid. I'm not that desperate for ideas yet. I have a feeling this base is going to look absolutely ridiculous. I cannot wait. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. I know what I need to do first. I need to go grab me some carpet. Is getting carpet a priority, Ash, in your silly little tiny base challenge? Uh, absolutely not. No, not not even slightly. But I'm still going to do it and you can't stop me. So, you're, I mean, you're welcome to try. Oh, do we want carpet or do we want checkerboard flooring? Or, or I'm feeling a bit devious. I'm, oh, I'm going to take some checkerboard flooring this time. Yoink. I'm gonna grab some more marble as well while I'm here. Ooh! We got gears! Another reason why I think the desert is the best biome in the entire game. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be needing the sketches right now. Am I gonna be fighting the shadow pieces on this playthrough? I have no idea how Walter would even do that. Wait, hang on. Can the shadow pieces not cross boats? Is it one of those bosses that you can just cheese by standing on a raft and shooting them? That would be so, like, cheeky. But I would absolutely consider doing that though, because screw you playing as Walter. There we go, we've got enough charcoal for a crock pot now. Oh, this is going to be so cramped and hideous, I can't wait. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so this is what we're restricted to. Can I, like, can I get some walls? Oh, he's an alchemy engine. Alright, fair enough. Get some fences. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just fence this out. Okay, you know what? I will place things outside of the square, but that's just for, just for walls. Just so we have a nice outline of the base. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so silly. Why am I doing this? This is just going to be a nightmare. I'm thinking of putting like stones, walls in the corners. And we'll have a gate there eventually. Uh, let's get an alchemy engine then, shall we? Uh... <laughs> My goodness, I don't have any inventory room already. I'm also going to try avoiding dropping items outside the base. I feel like that would go against the nature of the challenge, you know? Like, my base is where the home is, and where the home is is where I keep all my rubbish on the ground. Uh, oh my goodness me. Uh, <laughs> where do we want the alchemy engine? Oh god. Why not like there? How's that look? Does that look stupid? That looks stupid. I love it. Thank you. Let's get some walls down in the corners. Oh, we're really doing this, aren't we? This is, this is our base. Why am I doing this? I need to get more rocks. I wasted rocks on the very essential wall that I just built. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm going to have to get rid of the rule that I have to drop things in my base. Because what if I'm just out and about and I pick something up? Do I have to carry it back to the base and drop it? Yeah, we'll just we'll just cram you up there. 
There we go. Isn't this, um, cosy? <laughs> I guess you could call it. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna have to be rotating my camera so much to do anything in this godforsaken place. There's some obvious things to worry about in this challenge. Namely, uh, deer clops and badger. The badger won't be a thing until year two. Will we make her that far? Oh, uh, I don't want to think about that far ahead if I'm gonna be honest. But the deer clops can just do a little funny stomp attack and just immediately annihilate the entire base. Which I'm really looking forward to. How many fridges are we gonna are we gonna give ourselves? We're gonna make one right now, but there we go. There's our fridge. Okay, let's put that one there. That one there. Oh, sorry, Woby. Come on in. There we go. <laughs> no, no, no. I absolutely adore this. This is blooming brilliant. No, I love it. I think we're gonna need to work on some storage, don't you? <laughs> Just gonna be a scavenging simulation, I think. I'm gonna scrounge together whatever resources I can manage to find. Nah, it's okay. I think it'll be really funny. Oh no, should I actually just try and get the end table right now? I'm doing it. Screw it. You can't stop me. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully you guys know that you can do that, because that would just look really weird if you didn't know that you could do that. I'll just break a hammer and a bit over a table to get a, a blueprint to make a said table. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, I think I just lost me marbles. Oh, no, there they are. How about we check that wormhole right next to the, our massive and expansive base to see where it leads us? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. That's ain't that bad. A little mosaic by him. Might as well just tuck into some resources while we're here. Now, don't forget, seasons be short, so we got to do a lot of winter prep really quickly. And I know I mentioned it early in the video, uh, I would recommend that you actually play on shorter seasons. It's really fun. A lot, a lot less waiting around, a lot less dead days. Days where you're doing absolutely naffle but watching the clock turn over. I feel like most of my challenge videos will be using shorter days from now on. Like, I wish I had shorter days for the Lunar Island video, because, oh my lord, I hated doing that. But when I was on day 20 of autumn, and it was just me running in a circle counterclockwise for the 50th time. Maybe I should revisit that challenge with this style. I think that could be for an entertaining watch, as you get to listen to me descend into madness in real time. Let me know if you want that down below. Oh, we found a deciduous forest biome. Hopefully that means the picking is nearby. And who knows, maybe playing like this will teach me the value of items in this game. Maybe I wouldn't need to take 50 stacks of rocks with me everywhere I go. How much health does a vulture have? Let's find out. Wow, that's not worth it at all. Um, it would be significantly more worth it just to kill a normal bird though. Oh, a little puffy vest. Oh god, I was worried then picking that up because... I just thought to myself, what if that was one of those set pieces, Ash, that when you pick them up, just starts winter? I don't know if those are still in Don't Starve together. Those are a thing in Don't Starve, Don't Starve. Hang on a minute, we got a knight head there, and a rook head there, and another knight head. We need to find a bishop head. Maybe we should set the goal for this video. Well, not this video, but this challenge to be to kill the shadow pieces, because it's a boss I've... Well, okay, I've, I've killed shadow pieces individually before in the past, so those aren't that difficult on their own. In fact, they're very easy on their own, they're just like harder versions of nightmares. But when you have to kill them sequentially, I could imagine that being a wee bit difficult. Let's see, how many slingshot shots does it take to kill a cat? Uh, that's not that bad. A line I never want taken out of context when people watch this video, but yeah, it takes three slingshot marbles to kill a cat. Oh, I'm not going to get any drying racks, so I'm not going to be able to prepare food for like boss fights and trips. Oh, all of my medical supplies are going to have to come from, yeah, I don't know, like spiders? Or just crockpot dishes? Oh, I don't know. I can't get bees for honey poultice either unless I just murder them en masse. I don't think I fought this challenge through all too well, but that's okay. I forgive you. How about a tall bird? How many shots does it take to kill a tall bird? Okay, you could miss. Way too many. Okay, good to know. <laughs> what digging upgrades make me insane? A little bit. We're hoping for more gears. I think just one more fridge is as much as we can humanly handle. We'll get the shadow manipulator up and running eventually. Oh yeah, that's another thing I can make for Walter, his little camping tent. I know technically it's a structure and you have to place it down, but it's a temporary structure that you can pick up and move, so I don't consider that a base part. 
Also, this graveyard is so compact, it is adorable. Let's go look for the Pig King Village. That could be a useful thing to find. In fact, let's stop back at the base first to drop off all our supply. This is the silliest thing I've ever done. The silliest thing I've ever done so far. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is never going to be silly to come home to. Oh, all those juicy berries already rotted away. Mm. Right, let's make dinner, shall we? Oh, I can't even cook on the ice box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go for that. <laughs> let's do that. What will that nonsense give us? Hopefully something absolutely scrumptious. Getting some more wood so I can make... Uh, I was going to say chests, but knowing this base, a chest might be more suitable. The idea for this video originally stemmed from another idea I was going to do, where I was going to do like a tile man playthrough of Don't Starve, where I had to unlock different tiles to use from like arbitrary means, like either days past or I have no idea. So essentially I'd have, I'd be like location locked, but my location would grow slowly over time. That would be a hard thing to enforce though, unless I like get a custom made mod for it, but I don't think I want to bother anyone with a custom mod for me. Even though uh, what I'm doing right now with these short seasons is only possible thanks to Hugh Yu, a friend of mine who made a mod that actually enables bosses to spawn on short seasons. So I am very, very thankful to him. I wonder if I can fit another chest in there. I don't think I can. Um, I'm going to need more wood first. In the spirit of the challenge, I think I'll just plant trees over here. Not next to my base, but not in my base either. I want to find Chester as well, for obvious reasons. Right, am I even going to be able to fit another chest in here? Oh, I can. Oh, it's going to look so terrible, but... <laughs> it's going to be... <laughs> oh, right, hang on, let's do this. I chose the biggest chest possible as well. There we go. Oh, it looks so bad. <laughs> oh. Oh, dearie me. I'm going to need to get some armor. Uh, I want to. That's why I want to find the Pig King Village so I can like smash up a, a house or two. No, I can't do that because oh, I can't smash up a house because and move it closer because that's against the rules. Maybe I could just smash up a house and not rebuild it to get pig skin. Yeah, I was about to find out like, hey, how many uh, slingshot pets does it take to kill a frog? That sounds like it's waiting for a punchline. Uh, but the answer is uh, not enough to facilitate getting absolutely mobbed by every frog in existence. However, I did find Chester. And let's not forget, this is a small world. I absolutely hope that the small world isn't bugged out and like the picking doesn't exist. Because that would be fun. That would be really fun. It's, it's not fun. Walter is one of those characters I'm genuinely a little bit giddy for when it comes to his skill tree. Because I feel like that skill tree is going to make Walter... Walter? <laughs> it's going to make Walter passable at best, most likely. But... <laughs> No, I hope it makes him genuinely a really good character to play, because he's a fun character to get played, don't get me wrong. He's just not particularly a good one to play. We're back here at the graveyard. Again, small world, I know. Walter's really good for that, though. I'll give him that. The ability to just annihilate birds from a distance using a slingshot. Easy source of food. <laughs> and Krampus. The way I didn't see a main road is kind of worrying me. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm exploring this map like an idiot. Usually I just hug the wall. There's a lot of gemstones. I don't think I've ever gotten this many gemstones this early in the game. I'll be real with you. I'll be particularly cross if the picking didn't spawn in this world. Maybe I should have checked before actually committing to this world. Also, yeah, this challenge is just me again. Don't worry. Uh, Teague will make a comeback eventually. It's just that for this video idea, I think it would have been physically impossible to bring Teague with me. Oh, this is a weird little set piece I saw in my Let's Play that I haven't seen in a while. And here it is again. Oh, there's a head on a stick. Hang on. Yep. Thank you. Maybe I can make some poop pellets. Maybe that would be fun. I don't know. I think this is the second time in the past few videos where I said poop is funny. Maybe it's on the other branch of the map, like by the Florida poster. Poston? 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 Spawn portal? I'm gonna head home quickly so I can make and put away some stuff. I think I'm gonna make like a football helmet in case I do need to get into some impromptu combat. And I'm gonna make myself something to eat and put away this food before it spoils, even though the juicy berries will most likely spoil by the time I come home again. <laughs> Never get tired of rocking up here, huh? There's a decent amount of grub, I'd say. Oh, I can barely open these chests. I'm gonna make a football helmet in case I need to fight something. I don't think I'll ever need a pitchfork again, but I can't f bring myself to throw it away. Oh, we have hounds coming. Good timing. We're going to be alright on hounds. We're going to be perfectly fine with the hounds, don't you worry. <laughs> we're going to explore... Oh, that's just going to be the outline desert. You can tell by these cactus here. Cacti. Cactusy. Don't call them that, Ash. Oh god, okay, here's the first hound. Uh. Yeah, three shots of the marble. 
not that bad. Um, what, what's all this? What's all this nonsense? All these like funny little dots on the ground? Is there, like a, is there a croc circle? Are there aliens in this game? Don't tell me there are aliens in this game. I will stop playing if there are aliens in this game. How many slingshots does it take to kill a turkey? We're never gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just takes so much ammo, though. There we go. I don't think I'm gonna bother fighting the bishop. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Once I have Wobi all like massived up, that's a, you know, that's a turn. Fighting things will be a lot easier because I can attack whilst on the back of a giant dog that moves really fast. And I could also just use Beefalo to fight things, but that seems counterproductive to playing as Walter, you know? Get rid of this pickaxe, it's almost buggered. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna keep the pickaxe. Remind me that there's a pickaxe in chest so they can use to make a throw more stone. Bit deja vu there as well. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Right, let's never say okie dokie then and trade in all of these trinkets, shall we? Oh yes, we absolutely shall. Well, we're not gonna run out of gold ammo anytime soon. Unfortunately for us, gold ammo isn't the best ammo in the game. But by definition, it is also not the worst ammo in the game. Oh, we found the picking forest. Um, that was our immediate goal. I can definitely feel the compactness of the world, uh, and I kind of like it. No, no, no. I've already like convinced myself that playing the game with shorter seasons is funner than standard seasons. I don't want to have to convince myself that playing the game with a smaller map is funner as well. But like, I kind of see why it would be because like you're, you're spending less time traveling. With his uh, cat tail, we can make a cat cat once we get a little bit more silk. So when winter starts, we have a decent way to stay hot out there because we're not going to be spending a lot of time around the base, unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe this would be a good idea to fight spiders. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot Merm be doing this. No, why me? Why me? Why me? I'm chilling. Glorpy, glorpy glob. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I just ran into another one. Why? I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, now we're, now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> We've done a good chunk of exploring of this world already. Maybe it's because it's a small world. Well, we've got winter in about three days to look forward to. And with short seasons plus the mod that Hugh made, I have no idea the exact day the deer clocks will turn up on. So I'm just going to have to linger around the base in preparation for that. I'm also going to need to just make like a bunch of marble, maybe. I have no idea how I'm going to fight this thing, dude. Oh, no. Now it's going to be daytime soon. It won't. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I thought I had enough time. Okay, I didn't. Uh, How do I do this? Right, first things first. Ah, close this. There's so much rubbish on my screen. Okay, okay. We made a bedroll. We're just going to sleep through tomorrow night. Okay. Oh, I was very silly then, getting bit by Charlie. Who am I kidding? I was meant to be good at this video game. <laughs> Can't reliably put things in it, and my fridge is already full. Oh no. Let's pop down to the caves for a little bit, shall we? And get the stuff to make like a miner's hat. A miner's hat, a, um, a lantern. Okay, at least I can say that's my dog, and I actually refer to the fact I have a dog, instead of calling a Chester a dog. Even though Chester is still my dog. Oh, I need to reskin him. It didn't occur to me that Wobie would come into the caves with me. You know, you have a, a, a way to move around the caves very quickly, map it out very quickly, and have access to all the storage because Chester can't come down here. But I ain't gonna be down here for too long. I'm <laughs> sorry. I do that a lot in these videos, don't I? Where I'm like, oh, look, here's the caves. Oh, let's go exploring. Just kidding. I ain't doing this. I hate the caves. My sanity is rapidly declining because I am injured. A gimmick of Walter, in case you forgot. But once we get back home, I'll fix that. Because I'm going to have a little nap. A little honk schnoo. There we go. <laughs> we in this now. Right, but I do remember at the start of the video saying there's an exemption for tent rolls because it's a temporary base structure and like it kind of defeats the entire purpose if I can't use the tent roll. Call that a cheat all you want. I don't care. I am I'm the one that made the rules of this challenge, right? Not you. And I'm not going to waste some of my precious resources on making the floor look a little bit better. Oh, that looks a lot better, actually. Never mind, that was not a waste. Give me the salt lantern. That's my favourite lantern. Let's, 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 let's go big. Let's, like, make a turkey dinner. Oh, I just left my lantern burning. Oh, well. So, Walter is, like, more efficient at using tents. I don't know how one becomes efficient at sleeping in a tent. Good morning, it's day 11. Nearing the end of winter, because it'd be a short season, yeah. What needs to be done? Is there anything that needs to be done for the base? Probably not. We've got a nice turkey dinner, though. Let me just do a little bit more exploration of our little desert we live in. Let's go check the Oasis one. Maybe I should also ride my mount. It is a real shame that there are no, like, accessible hound mounts in this desert. Because that was a 
That would have been a great way of getting a lot of um, monster meat. But alas, I just got to go fight some spiders. Spiders that I can't particularly move closer to my base because that would be considered cheating. Got one of these um, little bee biomes, which I'm now starting to realise I think always spawns connected to the oasis desert. Seems that there's not too much up here, I'm afraid. Don't know what I was looking for, in all honesty. Maybe I should start moving the marble sculptures over. That would be a nice little silly idea, wouldn't it? I mean, I am good at moving marble sculptures because I am Walter, and Walter is particularly... What on earth is going on here? Uh, there's no waves. The, the water is completely still. It's the edge of the world, and there's a bit of grass hanging out on the edge. That's kind of a little bit creepy, actually. I don't know why that just, just gave me, like, a pang of philosophia. Oh no, it's going to be full moon tonight. Yeah, I can make it to Glomer in time. Glomer is essential, by the way, yes. Don't ask again. I think, I guess what I am looking out for are just more marble sculptures so I can get more marble. Because I think it would go against the spirit of the challenge if I used all my marble to make marble trees and farm them because that's something you do in a base. I'll just have to live with the consequences of my actions and find other ways to get marble. It will be slowing down proper now. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think we're going to make it back in time. Why are the closest spiders to my base? Oh. There are no closest spiders to my base. They're all really far away. Oh, farming monster meat and silk is going to be a pilgrimage every single time I need to do it. Ooh, a spooky ghost and a not so spooky ghost accompanying it. Hey, Glomer, how you doing, buddy? Missed you so much, you weird moon creature. Well, I didn't take the gunpowder. It's fine. Who cares? Should have taken it. Oh well. Should have, would have, could have. Take that. I don't know what I'm going to need a razor for, but I have one. Some healing salves. Right, I think I'm just going to need to head back home. I'm getting overwhelmed with the amount of stuff I have right now. I mean, I did want to kill a bunch of spiders. And tomorrow's going to be autumn. Do you know what? Let's kill a bunch of spiders, actually. Oh! And there we go. That's why we needed to kill spiders. <laughs> good girl. You're such a good girl. I'm going to dash on home, drop off some supplies. Make a thermal stone. It's going to be winter tomorrow. And then I'm going to use those early winter days to prepare for deer crops because I've never fought deer crops as Walter. I imagine it's going to be either very easy or very difficult. And I don't think there's going to be an in-between. Okay, right, Glomer, this is your new home. I know it's not a lot, but don't remind me, okay? Very sensitive about its size. Oh, doing inventory management is absolutely terrible when your base is this small. Who's surprised? Let's see what that does for us. Are we not? I mean, now that I'm looking at it, we don't really have the most food in the world. We don't have the least food in the world either. Um, let's make another ice fox, why not? We've still got plenty of room. <laughs> it may as well. Yeah, let's make some, like, blue pellets. Hell oh, yeah, dude. Fill up my inventory with more random nonsense, why don't you, while we're here? <laughs> Sorry there's a lot of camera rotating, I know it makes some people sick, but it's the only way I can maneuver anything in this godforsaken base. No, I was going to make an end table, but the more I think about it, the more I think that's a silly idea. And when have I ever done anything silly? Right. On to winter, I suppose. Right, welcome to winter. <laughs> what are we doing? Right now, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm scared the deer crops is going to rock up at any point because I'm playing on short seasons using a mod that makes it so the deer crops can spawn sooner. So um, I don't want to have to just leer around the base in case that happens. I'm going to leer around the base in case that happens. Now, I think it was spawned in about like five days. I think it spawns around midwinter with the mod installed. It's like, it really shouldn't be a mod, if I'm going to be honest with you. The deer crops is like something that should always spawn on the first winter, irregardless of the length of the seasons. So having it just not spawn at all on the first season, or the first winter, if it's short, feels a bit daft to me, and I don't like that. But it's okay, it's probably just an oversight. Not many people play with short seasons, I imagine, but you know. The world would be a lot better place if people did play with short seasons. They're really cool. Try them out. Honest. Why don't we get some ice while we're here? Go through the stockpile while it's at its peak. Now, right, something I found out literally yesterday is that I know, I know you can eat ice, but I never knew it actually gave you hunger. Like, it gives you two hunger and like a little bit of health. Like, I never knew that. I thought it was like eating was a wet goop where it did literally nothing. But no, it has nutritional value. I'm gonna see about grabbing some tumbleweeds. Just gotta find where the tumbleweed spawner is. Ah, okay, I think the tumbleweed spawner is up here. 
case you don't know, that's how tumbleweeds work. There's like a spawner that's invisible in the middle of the desert. And that's where, ooh, and that's where all the uh, tumbleweeds spawn from. I go, this should warm us up a little bit. <laughs> Which is why, like, it's, it's good to hug the edges of the desert to find all the tumbleweeds. But if you keep doing that, eventually the tumbleweeds won't be there anymore because you haven't walked over the spawner, which is probably just in the middle of the desert somewhere. By the way, as you can probably tell by the length of this video, this may be a two-parter. Now, I know the original challenge videos were only one part, but that's also because they were completely different in format. They didn't have live commentary. But for this one, this will be a two-parter. It'll be split into two seasons each episode. Again, all of this new format I'm trying is just experimental to see what works with me, what works with you, and ultimately what's fun for both of us. So, you know, I hope you can stick around and enjoy the experiment with me. I can't believe I'm resorting to using rock for fuel. Do we know where any walrus camps are? Probably there's one jumping out at me, but I can't see it. Um, could also be down here. Again, don't see any jumping out at me. Well, how about we go exploring up here? Potentially find a Muktas camp. We'll get some monster meat while we're out there to find some more spiders as well. Now, I am a bit worried about the Muktasks because... Well, the Muktask, I should say. I don't think there's anything that I have to worry about too much. I am also going to be using gold rounds, even though I do have marble ones. I'm going to save the marble ones for when I have to fight the deer clubs. Because I don't know if I have enough marble rounds to fight the deer clubs. I mean, I could do some quick math in my head, but I'm not gonna, in case I make myself look like a massive idiot. What the hell? Why? Why, why though? <laughs> I aggro them and they immediately just go to the other pigman. I say other pigman, implying that I am a pigman. I'm in the market for monster meat, but I'm not going to say no to silk either. This is such a, a retro way of fighting spiders. I mean, ignoring the fact I'm on a giant dog with a slingshot. That's gets, that's a slightly less retro way. Okay, now you can stun knock him as Wobi. As Wobi, as Walter. I just degraded Wobi down to like... The, the, <laughs> they did it again! I just degraded Walter down to a, his dog. Oh my god, your sanity drains when you freeze to death. That, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, Wobi, don't worry. They're not gonna hurt you. You're an essential NPC. They can't do any damage to you. So, it turns out there is no Muktas camp here. I mean, it could be in that corner. Let's go check that corner, actually. I still stand by the fact that I feel like the weakest part of Walter is just how expensive ammo is. Or how little ammo you get per crack. But it does make fighting things very unique, and I, 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 kind, I kind of bang with that, you know? Um, this is kind of a huge spooky forest, but all they're in here are just random pigman houses and, like, spiders occasionally. Don't think there's going to be a single McTusk in here. Oh, oh, poor Wobi. So tiny and small and the friend shape now. I mean, your friend shape no matter what state you're in. Alright, so yeah, day 15. What a beautiful day. Everything's, uh, it hasn't started snowing yet. Which is a little bit weird, you say? But once I get used to how short seasons work, I'll be a lot more confident. I'm going to be real with you. It feels like I'm playing winter for the first time again. Except I'm... You know, good at the video game when I know how to handle food. No, this is the mosaic, but I'm- Oh! You see that? It was the elusive tall bird laying an egg animation. We just caught the tail end of it. Quite literally. I was way too excited then for an animation of a video game bird laying a video game egg. It's just weird, actually. Stop talking. I don't know why, I feel like it's up here, and I just missed it somewhere. Let's go quickly check that out, as the first winter snow finally sets. Yeah, I get it, will be Woof, woof, work, work. You the dog. You a dog. You got that dog in you. Yeah, no. They're just, they're just not here. This world is a mystery. A mystery I hope to one day fully uncover. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to base because inventory's full and I don't particularly want this monster meat to start spoiling. I think it would be cool if there was like an item you can craft called like Wobby Biscuits or something. I, I don't know why, what they are, but it's just like a... It's just made out of like free monster meat and it's probably something else I imagine. And it makes... It's like a food item you can just feed to Wobby to instantly transform her into big mode. It just saves you having to carry around three months to me. Get home, sweet home. Are you hounds? Do we have dogs incoming? Yeah, we do have dogs incoming. All right, let's get ready. Hopefully the hounds don't just immediately start smashing up my walls. Okay, okay, there they are. Oh, no. I'll go for the meat, I need that. Oh, this is such a big wind-up on the slingshot, dude. I hate it. It's winding me up. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't so bad. Second hound attack. Got some more monster meat as well from all Woby transformations. I'm trying to think of what other silly little things I could put in my base. But I don't think there is any other silly little things that I need to put in my base right now. I think that would just be... Now say it with me. Silly. Why don't we check up there? 
mean, you may as well. I, I, I don't think the Muktask camp is going to be surrounded by a million beehives. I don't think it's physically possible for it to do that. But never say never, alright? We're in a world of mysteries and opportunities. Anything could happen. Watch till the end to see what happens. <laughs> oh god, I'm so vile. Now, I know I can use the flares to summon Muktask. But as you've probably noticed, I'm for some reason absolutely terrified of deer crops for some reason. Like, I haven't been terrified of deer crops in so many playthroughs. But because I'm playing A as Walter, B with little preparation, and C a very particularly one-shottable base, you can, uh, you can probably see where my fear is coming from here, don't you? I mean, I could also just use melee weapons. I'm not restricted to just using my slingshot now that I think about it. Actually, hang on a minute. Let me think about it. I'm not restricted. Wait. Two seconds, let me dash on over to the wiki to see if I am only limited to using my slingshot. Like, does he not have, like, less ammo when using normal weapons? Less ammo? Less damage? No, he, d <laughs> he does the exact same damage as any other character when using a melee weapon. I could just make a handbag. I don't need to use his silly little slingshot. The only downside is I have 10, 20 less health than the average character. Alright then, now let's go do that. Let's, um... Let's get the materials to make a hammer and fight the tear clocks normally. Maybe that's why I need to value Walter a little bit more. Use his uh, slingshot as a bonus weapon, not his main weapon for fighting things. I mean, I will use the slingshot at the start of the fight, but if I need to swap to a hammer because I you know, physically need to because I run out of ammo, then I will. And because I'm a lot more confident fighting using a hammer. God, it's hard to base on the mini map or the mega map. It's just this tiny little thing, dude. Oh, it's so cute. I love it so much. You not pig. Rare right, observation. Let's see how many shots takes to kill a pig. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight's not that bad. <laughs> as long as you have like a near infinite source of gold, you'll be alright. <laughs> gold is a very easy thing to get in this game. I usually end the playthrough. And when I say end the playthrough, I mean get bored of a playthrough. When I have about two scaled chests full of the thing. I may as well just. Check out what we got going in the uh, swamp biome. Also, murder a couple of cat coons on the way. Don't tell Tig. Now, I'm always, I've always believed. Oh no, I've always believed that the deer clot spawns on like your base and not you. But I'm starting to think it may not be the case, and the deer clots will just spawn on you. Oh, we found a bunch of pigment heads. Nice. We found a bunch of them. Look at all of these. The touchstone here as well. Oh my lord. So maybe I should just hang out and about, and if a deer clot spawns on me, it will spawn on me and not on the base. This is a very healthy amount of pigment heads on sticks. This is a very weird thing to say out loud, but we just get 16 pigskin from all of that. I'm proper chuffed about. I genuinely have gotten comments from people. Ah, here's the most hard to find, by the way. Genuinely have gotten comments from people that say they like watching me play the game because I'm not the best at it. Which, like, I can respect. <laughs> Thank you for just being honest. Don't win. Don't win. Don't win, Tentacles. I don't want you to win. No, wait, they do win, Tentacles. I don't want the spiders to win. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no! Can't see. Oh my god, it was one shot. <laughs> okay. It didn't eat all the meat, it ate a lot of it. This has got me. Yeah, no, this is the Mokhtar's forest. It's in the one with the, the lunar rock, moon rock altar, lunar altar. Alright, where is this? This daffy Mokhtar's family at. Oh god. Oh god, Mokhtar's is attacking my dog. Oh! Okay, there's Mokhtar's. We found them. Um, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. Uh, it's gonna get cold soon. Uh,. Right, let's go for the hounds first, because they're busy attacking Chester. Yeah! Okay, getting Muktas to attack the dog is... The dog. By the dog, I mean Chester. Best course of action. Right. Oh, okay, it was a good thing we didn't get the Tamish answer, because it would have been completely useless anyway. Very nice. Let's head home. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure the deer cops is going to spawn very soon. Well, that was quite easy. Imagine it was easy because Muktas just suddenly gained aggro onto Chester. Guess this seat's occupied. Yeah, you're riding it. <laughs> well, you're waffling on about, Walter. Why do I feel like it's going to spawn tonight? I don't. I have my audio very quiet, so I won't get to hear it roaring when it does. I'm probably wondering why I have the minimap mod on, but I always close it. I don't know. Hey, Glamour. How you doing, buddy? Let's make some more football helmets first. Get some food going. I really don't need these poo pellets on me. Like, I'm never going to use them. Yeah, I don't think the deer cops is coming tonight, because it would have like, done its little announcement by now. Maybe it is. Ooh, maybe it's also cracking my voice! I'm an adult man and my voice still cracks it so often. I Oh my goodness. Right, it's the next morning. <laughs> what did you miss last night? A lot of wood cutting. That was it, really. <laughs> i got to remember that there's a hand bat in the fridge. 
as well. For when the day pops rocks up. So yeah, I, I really enjoy playing with short seasons, and I've said it so many times in the video already, but seriously, please try it out, especially- Oh, I've got some more gears, nice. Especially using the mod that is linked in the description, because that one makes, you know, playing in short seasons- Oh my goodness! Oh, blimey now! Tumbleweed jump scare! So here's an idea I have for this series, if I want to turn this into a series instead of a two-parter. I think it could be for a funny series. What if every episode I unlock a new square that I can use for a base. It doesn't have to be attached to the current square that I'm living on. Just, it can be anywhere. It could be away from it. It could be in a different place altogether. Like a, so I could turn this as like a long form series where I'm slowly growing my base and losing my mind playing Walter. <laughs> Instead of having just one mega base, it would just be, it would just be like several smaller squares. But this will be like the crafting square, and over here will be the chest square, and over here could be like a marble farming square. It would turn this into a much longer series, instead of just like a little one-off challenge. I mean, people still want part twos to like, survive on the Pearls Island, surviving on the ocean, except we died in that one, surviving in the caves. And they're all possible, because I still have those world files, but I don't know if I should carry them on as long form content, like with live commentary like I'm using now, or if maybe I should carry them on in their original video format. Am I right to assume that the Diclops is coming in tonight? I feel like I'm wrong to assume that. Can I feed Wobi like monster meat to preserve her like speed mode? Let's find out. Um, <laughs> is she going to be significantly faster? Yes. Does indeed work that way. Nice. Oh, I don't have a thermal stone anymore. Oh. Wee bit silly. Wee bit silly. It's alright. It's alright. I've also got to put some stuff in storage as well, so... Yeah, maybe it's a good thing I don't start being silly right about now. Right, if there's any night for the deer crops to attack, it's going to be tonight. We only have three days of winter left. Dude, what if the deer crops doesn't even spawn? That'll be the second video I've done where I'm like, Oh, dude, I'm so scared the Deerclops is going to spawn and murder me. Oh, and then the Deerclops doesn't spawn and then proceeds to not murder me. Good thing I remembered, because having a thermal stone broken during a boss fight is... Not convenient. <laughs> Believe it or not. Do you think the Deerclops is going to spawn tonight? Because if it doesn't spawn tonight, it doesn't really have many other nights it can spawn. This is a problem. I mean, it did take... Oh my god, the Wobi, you scared the life out of me. You've been following me this entire time and now you scare me. Yep, it's spawning. Oh yeah, it's spawning. Yeah, it's spawning, alright. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. I've got to be quick to get the tear clocks before it smashes my base up. Oh, no. I can't lose this base. It's all I have. Okay, there it is. It's over here. It's over here. No, did I take the walls? What am I hearing? There it is. Oh, we're good. A second Chester. What's it doing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> it was a bit weird, not gonna lie. It didn't realise to aggro onto me yet. So far, immediate impressions, this ain't that bad. I mean, I wasn't worried that I wouldn't be able to hit it reliably. I was worried I'd run out of materials to hit it with. Because these marvels don't do the most damage in the world. They do amount, they do, you know, as amount, they do amount there. They do the same amount of damage as a tentacle spike, yeah, surely. Don't call me surely. But they attack significantly slower, it's the problem. I don't like how I'm just circling around my base. One wrong move and that thing's getting crunched. But yeah, this, this is just fine. <laughs> I don't know what I was worried about. I guess the main thing I was worried about was the deer crops walking right past me and then smashing up my base. Which, granted, it very nearly did. <laughs> it's a very different change of pace, playing as a ranged character. I can tell you that for free. Like, no other character in the game fights like this. Well, except in the new beta, where you can get like a dedicated ranged weapon, which is better than Walter in every way. There we go. <laughs> we did it. Congratulations, me. We did it. I'm just out here right now, getting some bone shards, so I can make the eyebrow, because it's going to be spring in two days. Like that. Huzzah, we have the eyebrow now. It's going to come in very useful for the next part, because like I said, as you probably tell we're late for this video already, it's going to be a two-parter. Oh, the whole year. Got oh, this tiny base. It's going to be the death of me. It's 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 charming. It's lovely. I think I will make my bases a little bit smaller from now on as a tribute to this base. What I'm going to be doing now, though, is I'm just going to explore the rest of the map. 
Why not on the last day of winter? Not, not, not a lot that we need to worry about, so... I think in the next episode, when spring hits, we could do a bit of cave exploration. Who knows what kind of wacky adventures we can get up to on this silly tiny world. In the swamp again. All of us in here is a uh, dead guy of trap and a whole lot of pain and suffering. Or it's a lot bigger than I give it credit for. You wouldn't think this is a small world, but it really is. The biome's tiny and I don't think there's much repetition in them. But there's also the fear that there's not everything that there should be in the game in them. I don't think I've seen that many beefalo. I'm pretty sure I've only seen like two or three herds at most. But now that we've mapped out practically this entire place, we can hazard a guess of where the Lunar Island could be. Well, I imagine there's going to be something over there. It's like, whoosh, whoosh, it's very sheer there. So, we're just going to head home and wrap up the season. There we have it. We made it to spring. I knew we would have done that. It was easy to get into spring. The only thing I was worried about was potentially not having enough food or having an absolute nightmare with storage and all that. But now that the snow is melted, it really shows you how tiny the snow face is. Uh, so let me know if you'd like me to continue this series. Maybe unlock more slots as I go along, more tiles to live in. Yeah, tomorrow, not tomorrow, next episode, we're going to be tackling spring and summer. Let me also know if you like the shorter seasons so I can cram two seasons in per video. I might do this with Santa Let's Play stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.